What's up, YouTube? Deuces Jack with VapingInsider.com. Today, I have the Vandy Vape AP kit for you. It comes with a mouth-to-lung tank that has a 2 ml capacity. It also has a 900 ma internal battery as well. It's IP66 rated, dustproof, waterproof, and shockproof. Let's see if this one lives up to the hype. Let's drop it in water and see what happens. You can see it's on. Make sure you watch the whole video to find out if it survived. There we go. Check it out. Look at this little beast. Kind of neat looking. Kind of different, right? I got the amber one. Here is your spare straight glass. Here is your AP tank. This is your accessory box. In the accessory box, you get some spare O-rings. You get this top cap fill tightening tool. You also get this flat micro USB cable. You also get a 1.8 ohm coil. I'm not going to take the 1.5 ohm coil out because it looks exactly like this. It's just a 0.3 ohm difference. That's already in the tank with some juice. Here is the AP tank like the way they match the O-rings to the amber body. That's kind of cool. Over here, you can see we got a mouth-to-lung type drip tip. It's got a narrow bore inside. If it does come off, it is a proprietary drip tip. That's going to be a con. See that little nub there with the O-ring on it? I don't like that at all. I don't know why they just didn't go with a 510. But, you know, basically you lose this drip tip and you're kind of screwed. Because I don't know of any others that are going to fit on it. Bottom airflow, right, starts off at a 2.5 millimeter hole, then it goes down the 2, then it goes down the 1.5, then it goes down to 1, then it goes down to 0.8, and then finally to 0.6. That is your tightest airflow setting on this. Not bad. Definitely a legitimate mouth-to-lung tank, that's for sure. On the bottom, you can see it says Apollo. That's what AP stands for. You can see it's serialized and it says made by Vandy Vape. We do have a gold plated 510 insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. I'm not going to open up the tank because I have juice in it, as you could tell. It takes a while to get through the juice with these above ohm coils. I don't find much of a difference between the 1.5 ohm coil and the 1.8 ohm coil they do vape very very similar to each other this is berserker coil compatible so i just want to let you know about that let's put it on the mod so you can see what it looks like together there it is all put together now you can see you got a nice oversized firing button especially considering the size of the mod you have plus and minus buttons over here and you can see it's got that rubberized type of rough coating Kind of neat. It's got some nice texture to it. I do like the texture. It does feel really nice in the hand. I wish they would have sent me a different color than the amber. I don't like the amber color. Probably my least favorite out of all of them. On the bottom of the mod, it says Apollo, right? Basically, it, it looks like it's just an internal 18650. I mean, if I take an 18650 and I put it up against it, you can see, you know, it looks like they're just using an internal 18650, which... To be honest with you, I would have liked to have seen them throw a hatch on here and make it an external battery mod. Here is the 510 on the mod. Stainless steel plate, two screws holding it in place. Gold plated 510 that I would say has a really stiff spring with a short throw. Now the problem with this is, this will fit 22 millimeter atomizers. The problem is the mod only fires down to 0.6 ohms. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, that's an issue, especially if I want to run something on it, you know, like one of my smaller 22 millimeter atomizers, you know, for me to have to build above 0.6, I don't like that. Definitely an issue as far as I'm concerned. Really simple to operate. Five clicks, you see it blink, it's now off, right? Five clicks, now it's on. Okay, this is your battery meter bar right here. This is your variable voltage right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but right now you can see it. See where it says 3.2 volts, 3.6 volts, 4 volts. So that's marked. I really wish they would have marked that in a different color. 
Kind of ridiculous that they marked it black on black. But anyway, the way you adjust this mod is right now you can see I'm at 4 volts. If I want to go down, I hit the down button. Now I'm between that and 3.5. There's 3.5. And there's between 3.2 and 3.5. And there's 3.2. So the plus and minus button just work like that. You just go up in voltage whichever way you want. I've been running it at 4 volts, and I've been getting a decent vape out of it. As you can see, it's fully submerged in water. I'm hitting the button. You're seeing the lights underneath the water. The good news is I'm not seeing any bubbles come up, so that means nothing's getting inside. Let's pull it out. Let's dry it off and see if it actually works. Put the atomizer on. No jump cuts. And it fires. So there you go. This thing is waterproof for sure. And that's it, man. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con is going to be, and it's a real annoying con, if you have a full tank and your coil goes bust on you, it's really hard to change the coil without losing any juice. It's one of those systems. I don't like it. We're going to give them a con for that. And the other con I got for this mod is that it only fires down to 0.6 ohms. That's an issue, especially if I want to run another tank on it with my own build. I should be able to fire down, you know, below 0.6 ohms. That's a little too high for me. That's it for the cons. Let's move on to the pros because there's a few of them. First pro is going to be this is a legitimate mouth to lung setup. You diehard mouth to lungers are absolutely going to love it. Next pro is... Drop proof, waterproof, and dust proof. Nuff said. It's a simple mod. Very easy to operate. We're going to give it a pro for that. I'm going to give it a pro because it's so simple, it's great for a newbie. It's available in lots of colors. Red, blue, black, green, and amber. And the last pro I got for you is it's got a really nice mouth-to-lung airflow range. Now, the Vandy Vape AP kit measures in at 114 by 27.9 millimeters. When I first got this mod, it looked like they were going after that Geek Vape Aegis Mini type of mod market, right? But because of the resistance limitation on this, it really can't compete with the Aegis Mini as far as I'm concerned. However, it is a nice compromise between a pod system and a box mod, and that's where I see this thing hitting its stride. If you're the type of vapor that doesn't want a pod and you don't want a big box mod and you're a mouth-to-lung vapor, you want something small and discreet, definitely check out the Vandy Vape AP kit. Make sure you check out our links down below as to where you can buy this little kit. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. I'd like to know, do you like kits like this? Do you like kits that fall in between a pod and a mod? I would love to hear your thoughts on it. If you like this video... Check out the thumbnails for more of the same. That's all we got for you today. We'll see you on the next one. You keep living that vape life. Deuces.